So, uh, at Blockchain Zoo, we've noticed a kind of a transformation in the philosophy behind how uh, accounts or how nodes should create blocks on the network. When certain blockchains first started to come around that were not directly based on proof of work hashing power, there was a condition where people expected that if you're going to run a node, you're going to run it on your small personal computer. And this node is going to be, um, say, if you need to sign blocks that you produce with your own private key for the proof of algorithm, that that's a reasonably safe um, state of affairs because you have the node, you have the private key on your own computer. It's not leaving the computer going anywhere in the network. Since that time, the way that blockchains have been deployed has changed a little bit in the sense that now we expect in many business applications or for some people who want to run custom chains that they're going to run a set of nodes in the cloud and that many people might actually want to set themselves up on one of these nodes to create blocks on their behalf since it doesn't create the um, direct mining power or say direct hashing power that they would otherwise require in a proof of work chain. So. And in order to facilitate this, uh, people had to send their account's private key across the network to these nodes in the cloud, which is uh, an extremely unsafe business. It allows anybody to impersonate you once they capture your private key. So our solution, we want to separate this by requiring a node to actually register itself, say to require an account to register a node that it controls on the network directly. In doing so, the account uses its private key via a transaction to authorize a node that it owns to create blocks on behalf of that account. And when blocks are found by that node and signed by that node, the uh, attendant reward will be given back to the account that's actually registered the node. In this case, the node's private key is ever compromised. The account can simply register a new public key with its node in order to fix the security problem. In our solution, uh, to be able to create a block, a node must be uh, well known uh, to the whole peer network. And uh, to do this, an account uh, must first uh, um, submit a transaction to register its node. And once this transaction is confirmed, at least in, uh, in one block, the whole network will uh, become aware of this new node. And uh, from then on, uh, the node can create blocks uh, and the network can verify the authenticity of these blocks so that these blocks have been actually the origin and the authenticity of the blocks. And that's the reason why the node uh, must be registered first to the blockchain. One of the reasons that we are creating this mechanism is because uh, we are thinking of a way to distribute the awards between the participants of the network more, f more fairly among them. So that uh, when a node generates a block or whether they are participating in a network, they can be well distributed with the awards uh, among themselves rather than just uh, a node that is not registered within the, the network. So. This solution of having a set of known nodes on the network also forms the foundation of a couple of other things we'd like to try to do, including paying rewards more fairly to the nodes that actually participate on the network. Say, um, when we have a strong algorithm that can decide which nodes have been participating and how much reward each node receives, we now automatically have a way to map each node to its uh, attendant account so we know uh, which account balance to actually pay into for the node's good behavior on the network.